Hi guys, this is Nature Twins and we are back with another video. Not outside, sadly. Because I'll explain this but we can't go outside because it's too cold. Only if only f and fewer things will come out in yeah, outside. So I'm just gonna say I won't upload much videos. Only in winter though. Only in winter, but I'll upload them lots in the spring. Lots and in the summer, summer yeah. yeah. So basically I'm gonna, what I'm going to talk about today is a few books and why I can't record in full detail. And some facts about nature. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that's what I drew in one of my videos. And this, one, this one's called Theo, he's a guinea pig. Anyway. So, I can't record because it's so cold outside and nothing really wants to hibernate. So, it's quite, it's quite annoying because I would love to go outside. Personally, it's I, I get quite cold, so I get cold, but then no, nothing comes out. Like I'm there. I tried to I tried to record the video, but I didn't upload it because there was just nothing out there, and we we're just cold, and we decided it's like no, we, we can't do this. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to record much videos, so but I'm still going to record them. I'm going to I'm going to things I might record is Q and A. Um, I might record some facts and um some pic and some how to draws. So basically. I can't record much, but hopefully I'll try and get a few videos in this winter. It's nearly the end of winter now, so let's hope. Hopes up. <laughs> yeah, hopes up. So, for the book reviews, get out these teddies, we're going to, first one will be this book. It's called the Eurosporn Nature Trail book. It isn't mine, I didn't make it because it's always a Eurosporn, but it's a fabulous book. So there's bird watching if you like that. There is also obviously in the contents. Trees and leaves if you're interested in plants and trees. Please. Um, um. I'm just finding the uh, page because I think I found it. Okay. Wild flowers, if you're interested in beautiful flowers, then this will be a good book. And there's also lots of lovely flowers. <laughs> yeah, lots of lovely flowers indeed. I think are we garden animals now? Mm, no. I think it's garden wildlife next. Oh, Tom, see. Oh, oh look, look, look. Okay, yeah. yeah, garden wildlife. So if you can't go outside thanks to this third lockdown, look outside from your window or go outside in your garden. In your garden, least. and just put up some feeders. That 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 will get that that will help me a lot. Every day, every little thing helps. Then we're gonna we're um, just gonna wait for another one. Insect watching. If you're a um, if you're if you like insects, me, I like insects. Yeah, <laughs> he, he does like insects. Insects, and he has them. Yeah. Um, if you are a fan of insects and the butterflies like and me. larvae and dragonflies, and then try to look out for your garden because there be yeah. quite a lot of stuff in the winter. In the winter, yeah, they'll be a bit like. And also, look out for robins in the winter as well. Yes. So there, will be, there will be a few birds. There will be a few And if you see then. one, we'll just try and get it on camera. It'll be really short, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll have a... Yeah, then... Yeah, if you just... Tr we'll try and get some on, on camera. It'll be a quite short video, or we can just go back inside. <laughs> this, um, this is what I'm quite interested in. Ponds and streams. Go that way, go that way. That's my favourite animal, kingfisher. Oh, they are cute, aren't they? Just love kingfisher. They are very nice. Mm -hmm. So ponds and streams. If you're interested in like the ducks and which I'm quite interested in it, and frogs. Elliot's quite interested in it as well. Yeah, I am. What's next? Okay, that's it. That's it. Is that it? Yeah. It's an index. Yeah. Next. So Who I would recommend index? this book because it has lots of activities you can do. It also has, for example, for example, uh, <coughs> sorry, you just keep on speaking once I try and find it. So for like. For example, it's like, build your own pond out of a bucket. Make a pond net. Make a pond net, even, look. So you make a pond net, and it says you can just 
what what you need and step um, step by step things. Step step by steps are very easy. Mm -hmm. So that's the um, first book that we are reviewing. Next book is coming up next, which is the Local Safari by Wildlife Sh Adventures at Home, United Kingdom by Stuart McPherson. Um, I'll Both. lend it to you if you want to. Oh, okay. oh, it's not my book. It's yours. You can speak. Oh, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> and it's about you want this um, channel. Jane Goodall. She helped make this, and it's got James Goodall's Roots, Roots and, and Shoots, which is very interesting. So let's turn the page. It's quite an interesting book. Oh, that's the thing. That's just where it, where it comes from. Oh, and yeah, here. Yeah. So it uh, has Jane's story, where no Jane Goodall. I read about this. It's so amazing. History of Roots and Shoots. Oh, just take uh, This is just the unicorn. So introduction. introduction. Um, no, it's not right. thing. Uh, it's not safe. I don't. Uh, Britain. I will talk about safety though, but in another video. So beautiful Britain. Yeah, I'm not saying I don't, don't like safety, but just we yeah, get we the interesting parts. Yeah, we we live in Britain and it is very nice. Look, Stonehenge. Ooh, it is very beautiful. I wonder, I don't know. There they go. Wild detective sounds nice, and you can make you can make your own wildlife journal. Mhm. Mm That'll be nice. Very nice. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah. So yeah, draw flowers or you can squeeze flowers. Take photographs, yeah, squeeze them. flowers. And very, very nice. Well, we'll probably make one and we'll right. show it to you. And it's quite Ooh, nice. Wow. So this is what you should look for. I haven't said... Sorry, just we're just trying to see, see if we can show you any other things. This is what you should look for. Um, so evidence of homes, the burrows. So if you see... A, like an upside down D, that's a badger. If you see a kind of like a small hole in the middle of like a field, that's a rabbit. If you see a bigger hole than a rabbit, that's a fox, but bigger than a badger. Very interesting. Um, beaver, nor marks. Animal traps, this is a fox footprint. Fur and scat, I think. Back. Back. Yeah, like droppings. Droppings. That, that, that's a really good thing to look for. So fur and scat, so it's fur and poop. I know. Shredded snake skins. That's really good to yeah. look for. Bones. Bones, definitely bones. Skulls. Skulls here. We have shredded scrab shredded skins. Scrab That's really skins. good to That's look really for useful. if you go to the beach. Feathers. Everyone has a bit of a feather. Uh, arthropod skins. No, no. Arthropod uh, skins. And seashells. And that's it, really. So if you, you know, like larvae, you know, larvae, they come out and then they fly and they come out their dead skin. That's what you should look for by ponds if you, if you like. And we have spittle bags as for coppers and yeah. This is going to be helpful. Warning Identity. signs. <clears throat> so, be careful around yellow and black. Um, yellow and black bugs and other animals because that means they're poisonous. If you come across a bright coloured snake, that means they're poisonous. Anything bright coloured, apart it, from it means the, go away. And the mimic. But mimic. Luckily, look. If you that's see a wasp, this, look, yeah. Now that's a hole fly. If you see that, you can kind of tell. Cause you, and they can land on your hand if you they like. They can land on your hand. Just be careful not... If just it's don't... If, if you see a wasp, don't try. You have to really examine how it flies. So yeah. the hoverfly kind of flies like... Where's the animals? It kind of flies like it hovers in the air. This. It's just, yeah, in the wasp, so there you go. No, and then it goes... And then it sting. And then it sting you. Um, yeah, I've had a wasp my jumper before, and, and I examined it. And, and they're, they're, yeah, they're, 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 they're quite interesting. Weird, right, this weird bugs. Um, this is a a a pus moth caterpillar. Threat displays are used to warn off attackers. So, so he would spray pus all around his face to make him look bigger and scarier. And the emperor right. caught an emperor moth. Sorry, he has two little spots and they look like eyes. So he he like, like he, owls. Yeah. So then he opens his wings and. Then, Two other little eyes come out to make him look like he has more eyes and scarier. And then, Last yes, I need to read this. So it says, always put the invertebrates, it's a golden rule, but invertebrate brat or everything back, exactly where you found them, and objects that are part of their habitat, exactly, exactly where, where you found them. them. Remember, it's their home. So, so if you let's, pick, yeah. for example, let's say so we kept some grasshoppers in a little cage. I know it sounds really. Sad, but, but we need to examine them. Need to examine them, and we put them exactly where where they, where we found them, which is very kind Office. of us. Yeah. So it's very it's very good because what about if, for example, you 
were this bug and someone caught you and put you back in near a river when you belong on the forest floor yeah. on rocks and you'll probably die because you have no nothing to eat yeah so please do that i'll be a big help golden rule golden rule right last page we'll go move on to the next one Ugh, this is the last one. then we've got something to show you that we made Okay, we have another Stuart McPherson book. I know it seems very black, but it is Britain's Distant Seas. I'll be taking it by over Stuart McPherson. If 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 you are watching this, I don't. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Yes. Okay. I'm going to all these fishy bits. Anyway, this looks nice. Nice little picture. You got some nice little picture. Oh my goodness. One second. Okay, I'm not gonna say you would see one of these. Swimming around in Thornton Beach. This is no, this is a or, ascent, Ascension Island. Yeah. So it's somewhere it's just an island in the ocean, so don't get too hyped that you'll see this. <laughs> or on the random beach where you live. Yeah. Don't be excited if you see a whole shoal of black or trigger fish. Or a polo da damn dame fish. Squirrel fish and loads of like shoals of... Yeah. You don't, don't get hyped. Yeah. Don't, don't get hyped. Yeah. You'll still see a lot of interesting things around your local beach. You'll see sea salters and lots of other cool things. Sea salters are called crustaceans. And so are wood mouths. Yeah, shout strangely. You've got some sea turtles. Don't be hyped you'll see these either. You might see them, but... If you're really, if you're really, really, really lucky, lucky probably again, be sea safari for Ascension that. Island. Some more. Right. Oh, look, look at all these little crabs. <laughs> you might be able to see this, but I think that's all. No, no, they're called land crabs. Yeah, I think they're land crabs. Aren't so you're not sure you may be able to see you them. You might not see them, but you might see... No, no, the and then, okay, that's right. about it, really. Because that's about it. But we, this is something we really want to show you. But we're quite good, but... Hmm. <clears throat> <coughs> Fat files. Fat files. You may need to buy yourself. Don't be hyped if you'll see a green man bowl. This is just a little fat file, so we'll read the blurb first. What is the most thinnest critter in the world? Snakes, of course. Find out cool facts about these slithery snakes in this book. Fat file. What do you know? So, what are snakes? Can you hold up these? Yeah. Snakes. A, a snake is a reptile that have no legs. They have no legs because <laughs> they have no legs because they are shortened down in, in the centuries. So basically, snakes used to have legs, mm -hmm. and in, in the centuries and centuries and centuries, they've gone and they've lived and lived and lived. They've had it's they, all they've got now is little sperms, but they look like their legs used to be. Do all snakes lay eggs? First, do you think they lay eggs? Yeah. Do you think? No, I, I think I, do, I, I think I think they do all lay eggs. Really? Well, that's me. No. What? what? No, the snakes are reptile. It can't be. Snakes tend to lay eggs, no. but pit vipers, e.g., python, do not. They give birth. Oh. Didn't know that. Okay, <laughs> move on. Uh, I think there's a bit of exception because pit vipers are also quite venomous. But what I'm trying to say. Rats like the pit viper, but lays eggs. So it's just a little bit of an exception for cobras and rattlesnakes. Anyway, Rats rattlesnakes are venomous. They are pit vipers. They use their rattles to warn and distract prey and predators. So they warn prey and distract cobra. Cobra, cobra one yes. of the most popular snakes. A cobra is a venomous snake. <laughs> Thinking it's okay to walk or to slither into people's houses. I know. Page two. <laughs> I know. Um, probers think it's, they're allowed to, you know, just what, just walk into someone's house, go under their sit in their shoe, go under their deck, de decking. Yeah. As I say it. Right now, I'm going to do them to my two. So these are mine. My favourite animal. This little cutie. You won't see them in Britain. No, they're, they're in Sahara. Um, fact for insects. So I think we should do the insect one. So, fact for about insects. Then. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do the blurb. I didn't have enough time to do it. But I had well, done. We've done the inside. In the inside. 
I bet you it would be very, very nice. What is an insect? An insect is a small living thing with six legs and live under logs. Mostly some fly, some don't. Do you all think insects have six legs? Do you think they all have six yeah. legs? Yeah, they have six legs. Yeah. Well, these small creatures don't all have six legs. Well, I did not know that. You well. probably did, but that might have just flown out of your head. Probably. No mini beasts. Oh, yeah, it just flew out of my head. Some oh, have yeah. eight and they're called mini beasts or arachnids. Diagram. Oh, my trousers are in the way. Diagram of an intrep. Intrect insect. Those are feelers or antennae. Wherever you head, thorax, abdomen, legs, abdomen, and feelers. Yeah. So, uh, oh, antennae if you like to call them either one. What do they eat? So a fruit fly will eat fruit. Stop. Need some. Yeah. What do they eat? Fruit fly. <laughs> fruit, obviously. Termite, wood, sea salt, seaweed, spiders, flies, worms, soil, crustaceans. Not all bugs are. Classed insects, or classed as insects. Some are called crustaceans. They include woodlouse, sea salters, crab, lobster, and shrimp. These are my pictures. Oh, very nice drawings. Right now, we'll move on to my other one. Uh, oh, my favourite animal. It's really quite a long video. But you said it was a short one, but still. What is the cutest animal on earth? A fennet fox, of course. Read this file to know info about them. You don't have to agree that it's the cutest. You can just make it to me. I think it's not very interesting, as you can tell. So, what is a fennec fox? A fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world, and it lives in the desert. Why has it got big ears? I, I expect lots of you are questioning why they have big ears, and here's Fat Fowl has the answer. This cute animal has to survive in these hostile places. It has big ears because it cools them down and radiates heat. They also have ears to hear prey and predators. You can see ear, vein, nose. So the veins are the little blue bits. So you have you can see your veins on, on, your, on your wrist. Yeah. There you go. They're not that dark blue, they're like yeah, you know. What do they eat? Fennec fox are omnivores eating meat, sorry. I'm writing a felt tip. Fruit, veg, vegetation. vegetation, and insects. Fennec fox main diet is insects, though. Where do they live, Scorpion? These cuties live in the North Africa in the Sahara Desert. Threats to fennec foxes. This is not me. This is the bad page. Bad These thing. threats are climate change, fur trade, disease. So look after them. That's it. So we're gonna wrap we're gonna wrap our video up with a few facts. Let's get some cool teddies in. So, so did you want to see the fun? Favorite. Penny fox. Penny fox. Oh, polar bear. I have a little polar bear. You can go here. You can look. Oh, wait, you can do that. Yeah. You can see his little face. Ready? Okay, to wrap this up, we're going to have some facts you might not know. So, number one. Did you know flamingos? They, they aren't born pink, they're born white. So they aren't born this colour, or a bit brighter. Yeah, this is... They are born white, and the shrimp and crustaceans they eat turn them bright pink. <laughs> Did you know? The narwhal horn used to be... In fact, they, it, they, it, people used to think that the narwhal was the unicorn. Rainbows. Hello. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. What's well, fact about bunnies? Do you know any facts about bunnies? Um. No. Well, I just 
Have you had quick fast bunny questions? There's a lot of things. Okay, um, owls maybe. Ooh, ooh, my one of my favourite birds. He's a bit big. Barn owls are dying. My favourite animal. Our barn owls are declining thanks to people who are stealing their eggs and selling them. The egg trade, I think it's called. And that's very, very sad because um, owls are a very, very, um, they are very, very, um, yeah. uh, what's, the, what's the word? Very, very, something. They're yeah. very, very unique animals. So we need to keep them safe. So if you see an animal or someone taking them, just shout at them or phone the police. Because it's, I think it's, it's illegal. illegal. Yeah. Right. Can you guess what this is? It's about big ears. Big ears. Fennec fox. And a collar. I think it's a few, yes. It's a fennec fox, right. So the fact about fennec foxes and normal foxes. I know them. Do you fennec The fact have? file. You, you already know that. So the normal foxes. Foxes, I know they are my favourite animal. They're so cute. But they are declining. Oh, why is every animal declining? Because of climate change and especially for the fox. Fox hunt is illegal, but people still do it. They hunt foxes, basically, for fun. Mm. Sport. Anyway, right. To wrap the video, like a present. Yep. So we need to get all these animals in to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. He's a baby, by the way. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> See you next time for another Nature Twin video. Well, uh, well where were you all doing? A surprise. <laughs> yes. We're going to do a surprise. We should know what it is. It could be a husband or it could be Q&A. You never know. It could be a little book with you. Or a, an animal teddy with you. So, to wrap the video up, I'm going to say... going to add a snowman. I'm just going to say a nice goodbye. So... Goodbye, Nature Twin followers, and see you for the next surprise video. <laughs>